Hello everyone, this is First Lady Tamiko Johnson from Christian Kingdom Assembly. I pray that all is well with you and your family during this pandemic of the coronavirus. I wanted to jump on here right quick just to give you a summary of what is going on as far as Praying With Purpose. Praying With Purpose is a ministry out, up under the umbrella of CKA. It's a ministry about finding your purpose through prayer. Hallelujah. So yes, we all have a purpose. I'm passionate about purpose. I believe that everyone has a seat at the table. No saint left behind. We all have a purpose, but sometimes it takes a little effort to just get getting to that purpose. I know if you're like me, it took me a while to understand what I was really good at, what I was really passionate about. But once I found out what it was, I went full throttle. So that's why I'm coming to you today and I just wanna explain what, um, what we have going on. At the end of last year, the Lord gave me clear, clear, C-L-E-A-R. He gave me clear. I know a lot of people was talking about hashtag vision, hashtag 2020, but the Lord gave me clear. And as he gave me clear, he gave me an acronym for it. Clarity, learning, effective, astute recovery. At the time, I didn't know what that meant. I just took it in stride. He gave it to me and I started to do doing my research. Now, the ladies of CKA and myself, we have already covered the C portion of it. We covered the L portion. C, clarity. We broke down what clarity is. We broke down how, how to make sure that we're being very clear on the things of God and the things that we're doing. We're not just doing it halfway. We're doing them unto God. So he broke down, he, he helped us understand how it's important for us to be very clear and have clarity on the things of God and clarity on what we want to do moving forward. One of the things just to take away of the clarity portion was always seek a resolve, always move towards the resolve. You can believe what you can believe and I can believe what I, can, I believe as long as I respect what you believe and you respect what I believe and we can move forward. It doesn't have to be a disagreement. We just think different and that's okay. As long as um, we're respectable. And another thing too about being um, having clarity is, is, is you have to be able to listen. And that, that term about listening to understand, that's very important. Listen to understand. Don't listen to respond, but listen to understand the other person. You know, so yes, clarity is, is a very, good thing to have in this time. We need clarity. Even with the pandemic, make sure that the information that you're taking in, that you you got clarity on it. You have done research, especially before you spread it. I think my husband posted something not too long ago about, you know, us not being a part of the pandemic and inciting panic amongst people by just re- repeating things that's not even true, like we haven't even did the research on it. So clarity is very important. Also, we broke down um, about learning, learning, and it's different styles of learning. You have to know your style of learning. The, if you know your style of learning, this is how you show up in the room. This is very important, your style of learning. Get to know your style of learning. Everybody does not learn on the same level we learning at different paces and different levels we are different people that's what makes this world unique and great because we are different people we're learning different but you have to know your learning style amen next is effective now effective i'm gonna have to do it online because of the social distancing which i that's a whole nother thing about the social distancing <laughs> i understand that we have to keep our distance because you can be a carrier. You can be, um, you don't want to be too close to people. But one of the things that I enjoy about praying with purpose is our connection when we come together in prayer. And I don't know how I'm going to have to work that. that. That's something that I have to take to the Lord in prayer about the social distancing because if we are socializing on the things of God, I just believe that the Lord will cover us. 
So stay tuned about the social distancing. Now, the, the jury is still out on social distancing, but we have to do what we have to do um, just in, in order to keep ourselves safe. So I'm on the fence with social distancing, but we'll, we'll discuss that at a later point. But I, I will be coming to you in the next couple weeks about the, the effective part. You know, how effective are you? Amen. We need to be effective in this walk, in our purpose. You are here for a reason. You have purpose. And I want to support you in your purpose. I want to support you in finding your purpose. Amen. That's my life mission is to help people find their purpose. It's near and dear to me. The Lord has given me um, my gifts. And those that know me, you already know what my gift is. I don't have to call out what my gift is. But you know what my gift is. And I am passionate about helping people find their purpose. So that's all I had to say. I just wanted to address you guys and get on here and just let you know what we're doing as far as praying with purpose. I'm excited about it. I believe that this um, this avenue will allow me to reach more people. So that's that's exciting. You know email me dm me you know my instagram my instagram name is lioness underscore zero eight one four i'm not on facebook but if you dm me on instagram i will contact you especially when it comes to finding out what your purpose is so i just want to say thank you um continue to be blessed continue to seek the lord in all things he will direct your path and so I just want to, again, say thank you for listening and stay tuned for Praying With Purpose. Amen. All right. Until we meet again, blessings.